So like a lot of other people, I've been playing new Pokemon Snap. And one of my favorite things is the callbacks to existing Pokemon relationships. Zangoose and Saviper, Corsola and Marini. My personal favorite was Heracross versus Pinsir. Why? I just think they're neat. I'm oversimplifying, but there is something really cool about two giant beetles fighting each other. The powerful and aggressive Pinsir. Against the powerful and docile Heracross. I wanted to make a video talking about the basics of their rivalry and why it has a symbolic meaning to it that I don't think everyone sees. So the Heracross Pinsir rivalry started in Generation 2, but weirdly enough, the Pokedex didn't mention it until Gen 7. The anime, on the other hand, had them fighting right away. In Episode 3 of the Johto anime, Ash and the gang come across the forest filled with peaceful Heracross and Butterfree, only for a group of Pinsir to invade their forest when their habitat is disturbed. This is also the episode where Ash catches his Heracross. This episode would also get referenced in the trading card game, with Neo Genesis Heracross shown getting ready to fight a pincer, cementing that the two would be rivals. Now while the video games rarely ever said the two didn't like each other, it did show some parallels between Pincer and Heracross. Both share a base stat total of 500. Both can be found in Gen 6 in the Kalos region, with Heracross being exclusively found in Pokemon Y, and Pincer exclusively in Pokemon X. Both also got a Mega Evolution. Honestly, some of the better designed Mega Evolutions too, in my opinion. Their Mega Stones could be found in Saddleloon Forest. Finally, in Gen 8, both can be found in the Isle of Armor DLC, with Heracross being found in Pokemon Shield and Pinsir in Pokemon Sword. But why a rivalry between these two Pokemon? It's important to know that the Stag Beetle served as the inspiration for Pinsir, while the Rhinoceros Beetle served as the inspiration for Heracross. In Japan, both these beetles are popular amongst children for the long-standing hobby of bug catching, and most importantly, bug fighting. In bug fighting, children get their strongest beetle and have them lock horns in a sumo-like brawl till the loser is tossed out of the arena. If you haven't figured it out by now, this hobby of bug catching and bug fighting is what Heracross and Pincer's rivalry is based on. But why do I think these two bug Pokemon fighting is symbolic? According to Pokemon series creator Satoshi Tajiri, his childhood love for bugs and bug catching helped him to inspire the creation of Pokemon. The place where I grew up was still rural back then. There were rice paddies, rivers, forests. It was full of nature. Then development started taking place. And as it grew, all the insects were driven away. I was really interested in collecting insects. Every year they would cut down trees and the population of insects would decrease. The change was so dramatic, a fishing pond would become an arcade center. Places to catch insects are rare because of urbanization. Kids play inside their homes now, and a lot had forgotten about catching insects. So had I. When I was making games, something clicked, and I decided to make a game with that concept. Everything I did as a kid kind of rolled into one. That's what Pokemon is. Playing video games, watching TV, Ultraman with his capsule monsters, they all became ingredients for the game. Pokemon is the creation of one man's love for bugs and video games. Heracross and Pinsir are based on some of the most popular bugs kids catch and fight with. I think Heracross and Pinsir are an extension of Satoshi Tajiri's childhood love of catching bugs. Heracross and Pinsir's rivalry is Satoshi Tajiri's love for bug catching and video games coming full circle. That's why I think it's symbolic. In recent years, the Heracross Pincer rivalry has been referenced a couple of times. An image of the two fighting can be seen during the credits of Eevee and Friends. In the Volcanion movie, Team Rocket uses a Mega Pincer and a Mega Heracross. In Gen 7, Vikavolt was added into their rivalry. Both Ultra Sun Pokedex entries for Heracross and Pincer state how they hate Vikavolt 
but get along with each other in the Alola region. Giving them an enemy of my enemy is my friend kind of a relationship. Vikavolt shows up on Heracross's original Stitch Pokemon shirt design instead of Pinsir. Also, Pinsir's design sucks. An episode of Pokemon Journeys references their relationship. Also, this happens. And of course, most recently, new Pokemon Snap has it where you can have the two of them fight like in the old days. There's even two quests you can complete involving them. And that's all we have right now. I'm sure we'll get acknowledgement of this rivalry in the years to come. In the meantime, why don't you give this video a like? I had fun making this, and I'm thinking about maybe doing more videos about Pokemon relationships in the future. Thank you for watching. Bye.